This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. I'm pretty sure Machina will kill time with us. Okay, should I keep going or should I end the stream there? You know what? I think we can keep streaming for at least a little bit. No, no, no. Don't tell me, Gorus. I'm going to do bo I'm going to see both of the endings regardless. I just make the decision that I personally would make in that in that tr <laughs> in in those instances. I ended up taking on the role of explaining Mitra's one week absence from the dorm to our classmates. Chizuru was in an unusually cranky mood, and, well, that pretty much covers it, actually. Well, yeah, because she said she wasn't going to help us out any anymore, and then we were like, oh, Chizuru, oh, we need your help! Grown women can sometimes behave in astonishingly childlike ways. Life would probably be a little easier and less aggravating if not for this aspect of female psychology, but I suppose it's often an element of cuteness as well. Although, in this particular case, I'm not confident that applies. That's right. It's just an observational stay. Not much more than a checkup, really. Everyone is aware Michiru had been suffering from anemia, so the news didn't come as that much of a shock. As I carefully stressed that her stay was just to be on the safe side, they accepted my explanation without too much fuss. The problems came after that. Without Michiru around, unexpected quirks began to appear in our daily lives. Like an image gradually taking the form of a sheet of photo paper, the changes grew more distinct with the passage of time. <sighs> What's the matter, Sakaki? She still hasn't been able to hand out the penance, that's what. That's so. Alright then, I'll see you later. I hate it when people do that. Like, if you have something you want to say, just come out and say it. Don't beat around the bush. You really don't know how to be honest with yourself, do you? Oh no, I... I don't want to know about her. Oh, something up with Machina? Yes, Yumiko, and in other news, water is wet. A nuisance? Elaborate. That's because me that's because Machina used Mitra as a punching bag all the time, and now her punching bag's not here. Hmm, I haven't noticed any such thing personally. Wonder what's going on here. <laughs> See? She's trying to talk to me! What a nuisance! I mean, I can't blame Yumiko. Makina's voice gets on my nerves. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Forget her. What's with you? <laughs> what do you mean, lately? <laughs> Yumiko's always cold. <laughs> I see. That's interesting. No, I didn't. I refuse. I'm getting the idea that you just want to drag me into playing with you. Makina, do you know how to play Hungry Hungry Hippos? It should be right up your alley. At this point, the situation finally makes sense. Normally, Makina would be messing around with Michiru on a daily basis, but her favorite target's been absent for a few days now. Instead, Sakaki's been taking the brunt of her mischief. We've all learned to play along with Makina's demented games every once in a while, but a constant barrage of attention would be exhausting. Hence Sakaki's irritation, which Makina interpreted as hostility. Oh, hey, Iko Tolat's now playing Borderlands Free. I hope he has fun doing that. <laughs> I see. So that's how it is. The girl's been playing an important role in her own right. I'm sure you'll figure it out soon enough. It'll be interesting to see what other effects emerge, if any. Ah. <sighs> 
What's wrong, Sachi? Oh, and now it's Sachi. What's wrong? Oh. Oh, I know why. Someone's being more demanding of Sachi than usual now. Makina, are you taking advantage of Sachi's diligence <laughs> again? Um... Was Michiru feeding Makina her medication? Because Michiru always had the pouch of ramen A candies, but we learned later that that was actually medicine. Uh, is she talking about a different stash? Or did we just see a more twisted side to Michiru giving her medication to shut her up? Oh, I hope it's not the second one, but wow. Michiru constantly doing you favors, isn't she? She's not a fane. Not referring to her as a fane might be a step in the right direction. Hmm. Oh. How about people stop relying on Sachi to do everything for them, and people take responsibility for their own lives? From the sound of things, Mishra has been playing middleman between the others, casually helping out and smoothing over a lot of minor problems. Guess it makes sense. Sachi does so many chores as the school's maid that it'd have to get stressful without a little assistance. I've noticed Mitru's acts of kindness once or twice before, but I hadn't realized that her behind-the-scenes support played this larger role in the group's normal dynamic. So, so I would be the guy who, like, would be like, Sachi, can you do me a favor? Can you get a rest? <laughs> I, f I feel bad. Nobody talks like that when they're eating. Oh, Amine is disappointed. Yeah, when, if you were like, uh, Sachi, this isn't exactly what I asked for. She's like, oh no, I will couch out my eyes as punishment. It's like, don't do that. I see. Her over-the-top Sundari act tends to draw all the attention, but the girl's surprisingly helpful with the little things. She pretends to be. Well, I won't deny she's a little naive at times. I'm not telling you anything if you have that face on right now. I don't like that face at all. <laughs> Depends on your definition of something. You were the one asking about it. Now, I wasn't volunteering that. What a maroon. Back to the courtyard. Mitru should be back in another two days or so. I'm curious about the results of her examination, but I've decided to refrain from contacting her beforehand. Probably better not to give the girl too much to think about right now. Hopefully she'll return before these small stresses the group's been undergoing build up into anything troublesome. Oh, uh, no. uh, hey, Yumiko. What? 
Here to file another complaint about Machina? It's the penance! Sakaki hands me a number of souvenir flags from her vacation. A half a dozen, to be exact. These for Michiru? Understood. I'll pass them on. Can I just tell her there's souvenirs from Sakaki? If I hand her six pennants without saying a word, she'll probably just be confused. Alright. Thank you. I'm expressing gratitude on Michiru's behalf. Thanks for the souvenirs. Is it my imagination, or has Yumiko kind of undergone a complete personality change after the prologue? In the prologue, she was Murder Girl, and now she's like, oh, I'm slightly cold, but also really embarrassed. Like, there wasn't really any explanation for this. She literally went from trying to cut us to pieces with a box cutter to now being like, oh man, I like talking to you. Like, what? What? No, this is not how things work. <laughs> I mean, I definitely like you, new Yumiko much better than Murder Girl Yumiko, but I feel like the change should have been should have been explained a little bit more. Maybe they, maybe they explained it on her route. Gotta get Fane's prepared for a smooth return. Since our maid is currently exhausted, maybe I should tidy up Michiru's room in her place. Then again, fiddling around in a woman's room without permission strikes me as a bit questionable. Also, to be honest, it would be pretty damn embarrassing if anyone noticed me doing it. Well, I'm sure Sachi will be willing to do it, overworked as she might be. Maybe I'll pick her up an energy drink. Mumbling to myself, I leave the dorm and head for the convenience store. I hope she likes Red Bull. Our routines may have been disrupted by Michiru's absence, but I haven't been neglecting my training. Running through nature every morning gives you an intimate understanding of the passing of the seasons. These last few days, the air rushing past me has carried a smell suggestive of the imminent end of summer. Having finished my daily marathon, I took a quick shower in my room. Michiru should be back tomorrow, but it doesn't feel particularly real yet. Not that I doubt she'll be returning, but... This was a purely observatory stay, so the real question is what results the hospital's examinations will have produced. Not surprising that I'd still feel a little uneasy, I suppose. Thank you for knocking and introducing yourself. No need for the formalities. Come in. Sachi enters my room, her expression slightly troubled. Do we have a situation of some sort? What's wrong? You've got a gloomy look on your face. Michiru, you hear something about her? So what happened then? Let's hear the details. No, 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 no. She said you could do it if you wanted and had time. You, you clearly haven't had time. Hmm. A Butterfinger style dilemma, perhaps. Knock something fragile over? そのような土軸的な問題ではないのです。問題というのは箱を見つけました。あ、バックス。はい。鍵のついた小さな箱でした。私はその中も整理しなくてはと開けて。How you're going to destroy her box. That's not what she wants. Sachi is low-key the most terrifying of all the characters. <laughs> the answer, Sachi, is no. It is not acceptable. <laughs> それは自然の摂理ですからしかたありません。ですが、
意図的に破壊していいものかと掃除を頼まれた時にどこまで破壊していいのか確認しておけばこんなことにはならなかったのですが<笑> I see Alright then I'll take care of that box That should resolve your issue right? はいそうしていただけるとありがたく思いますそれでは私まだ手をつけていない作業がたくさんあるので失礼させていただきます。サジプロンプリバウズ and leaves the room。I drop the key on my desk and then fall back onto my bed。Naturally, I have no plans of actually doing anything about this box。Considering that it's locked, there's probably something Mitru doesn't want us seeing inside。No need to go out of my way to poke around。Wow, how responsible! I pick up a paper bag and begin reading once more. But before I'm halfway through the page, there's another knock at my door. Uh, what's wrong, Sachi? <laughs> Sachi, let's not be creepy. What is. I was about to ask what's wrong with Sachi. I know what's wrong with Sachi. I still don't understand why she's acting like this, though. Hmm. <sighs> oh, no. I forgot about creepy Sachi face. My gosh, that is an unnerving face right there. That... That gives me the chills more than, like, any horror game would. <laughs> What the <laughs> This is that's that's frightening. Calm yourself. I was just about to head What now? いえ、一応道ぐさまの部屋に行くまでを見届けないと、と思いまして。私、部屋の掃除を任されておりますので、その最後の小箱まで面倒を見てこそ任務。Oh, Alright, alright, I'm not neglecting anything. You want me to go immediately, right? A little too close, Sachi. You need to back up a couple paces. What's wrong? I'm, I'm going to take care of the box. You can leave now. Man, this girl's a pain. You're such a handful. Fine, got it. Just wait until I'm done. Hi. I enter to find the room sparkling clean and neatly organized, just as Sachi said. The only thing even slightly out of place is the small box resting on Mitru's bed. It's an unassuming, simple little wooden chest, but notably solid and sturdy. You could imagine a pirate stashing treasure in this vein. <laughs> Yarr! Probably a handmade product from some local general store. Seems fairly well worn from years of use. Sachi, are you still out there? Sachi responds instantly. She's clearly hovering just outside, waiting for me to deal with the box. Feels like I've gotten roped into an explosive ordnance disposal detail. Taking the box in my hands, I begin to fiddle around idly with the lock. Hmm? You absolutely determined to have me look inside this vein. No, it wouldn't, Sachi, you dork. All right, all right, just hold on a minute. Well then, what's the next move? I'm naturally a bit reluctant to open Michiru's private property without her approval. That said, I can't exactly stand around here all day. Have to think up of some excuse and persuade Sachi. Sachi, my friend, where did you find this? I see. If she didn't hide the thing, does that mean she doesn't particularly mind if somebody looks inside? Tricky judgment call. Crap, I was just playing around with the box absentmindedly, but I seem to have gotten the thing open without even realizing it. Curse my instinctive kleptomania. A mechanism this easily picked barely even counts as a lock. Surely you'd guard anything you really wanted to protect a little more securely. Guess it hardly matters now, now that I've opened it. 
may as well take a look. To be honest, I'm a little curious myself, and I've half convinced myself of the dubious theory that the girl actually wanted someone to look inside. Well, whatever my excuse, I open Mishiru's box and peer inside. What's this? Sorry, but be quiet for a second. There are several small notebooks and a number of photographs inside. The majority of the pictures seem to have been taken before I arrived at this school. Mainly casual snapshots and the group photos featuring Michiru's classmates. But in each and every one, Michiru's face has been cut out of the image. What? The rest is left intact, removing only herself from the world, but pres preserving the others carefully. Well, that's disconcerting! I thoroughly examine the photographs, one by one. There's a shot of Michiru sandwiched between Makina and Amine. Michiru leaning against a slightly embarrassed Sakaki. Michiru having her shoulders massaged by Sachi. In every case, Michiru's face alone is precisely snipped out with scissors. At a glimpse, these all appear to have been taken in happy moments. But that's probably exactly why she did this. Michiru must have felt that she didn't belong there. The girl must have been unable to accept the presence of her false self in these happy scenes. The notebooks are filled with memos written in small characters. Notes on the performance she's been putting in on this school. There are also extensive itemized lists concerning Sakaki, Amine, Makina, and Sachi's likes and dislikes. Notes on what makes them upset and happy, clearly accumulated through careful trial and error. Seems pretty clear that the girl was using this as a reference for her many small acts of kindness. That girl. My honest thoughts slip out of my mouth against my will. Is an idiot. Even after all this effort, Mitru didn't exactly pull off the charade, did she? Sometimes her act was more convincing than others, but as a whole, she was just trying way too hard. That Sundere character must have been a part of the plan as well, but I saw through it on the very first day. And of course, everyone else also knows that's not her true nature. Even so, she stuck with it, convinced that playing the clown was the only way she could be anything but a nuisance. I'll give her an A for effort, but seriously. Handwriting seems to be another weakness of Michiru's. Her thoughts and feelings spill out across the pages and characters that even the most generous observer would have to call sloppy. But I'm only laughing at first. The earnest notes on her classmates and dubious strategies for forming smooth relationships eventually give way to a diary. And its contents are largely occupied with the terror she feels toward her of herself. Flipping through the pages, I jump through the story in chronological order. Uh-oh. Um... No, we're going to do that next time. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be another flashback sequence. So, we're going to end the stream there. Sorry for the cliffhanger ending, but... I can only stream this for so long. It, visual novels or games where I have to talk a lot <laughs> do take a toll on my voice, and I don't want it to go out completely, so... I really can only stream for two and a half hours, maybe three at tops. But this was also an emotionally draining episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, again, after Sachi's flashback sequence, I have no idea how long these are going to be, but I feel like we're going to get at least at least a decent amount of time, so... And we're right at the two and a half hour mark, so I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all for joining in, this was a lot of fun. Definitely enjoyed this stream, even as hard as it was to get through. There was, there was some good stuff this stream. It was very well written and very intriguing. All right. I will bid you all adieu, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.